video today features a Bosch Professional 10.8 screwdriver. Here's the beautiful little light in herself. That's going. But the guy that owns us gave it the fix. He's complaining that it's down in power and the batteries aren't charging correctly. Time to test the voltage. This first one has got 12.09, which is very impressive for a 10.8 volt battery. And battery number two is 11.85, which is also very impressive. So there's nothing wrong with the voltage in them. These little Bosch batteries have got what I consider to be a very good workable voltage. The only thing I can do to make them better is to swap out the cells in each of them. There's three 18650 cells in each of these. Both are one ampere batteries. So if I swap out the cells for higher capacity 18650, something like 1.5 ampere or 2 or 2.5, it will significantly help these power the screw gun better and drive her faster. My next move would be to get this battery open, or one of these batteries open at least. I can see there's little tabs there. You just need to get underneath them with sort of sharp screwdrivers and things and just pry them off. There's only three. And then I can pull out the cells. That lid's relatively easy to remove, so that's done now. And I'll get these cells out. That's just three cells. Connect as you expect them to be. A little safety heat thing. That's good. So what I'm going to do is pull three cells from this Panasonic 18 volt 4.2 ampere, which will effectively upgrade this to a 2.1 ampere battery. Which is a more than double what it is now. That's your three cells removed now. So to check the voltage of each of them to see if they're they've got a good voltage and nice and well balanced. There's three point five six. Three point five six and three point five six. That is perfect. For putting into this new pack. Definitely that's perfect for a repack. Perfect voltage, well balanced. Just what you need. Just connect these batteries up now. I'm using the, the original battery holder, the later casing, as a, uh, a guide to connect them together in the right way, which is a good tip. That's the pack bolt. Now all I have to do is put on the connector, and I'm totally in business. Then, um, if you see, there's a bit of insulation in this one, so I'm going to have to insulate this one and in this side here, just to keep it keep it safe. So I'm going to change over this, and then I can put the pack back together. Right here we have the new pack assembled fully now and I've uh, put tape on the connections and might cover that in a little bit more because I see a bit of exposed metal there. But the way I've done that is the risk of cross connections is too big a risk to take for granted. So if you have cross connections in the battery you can, you can have a fire basically or a small explosion so you don't want that right I'm just going to set this back in to the uh, to the casing again see some of that insulation I put on 
There's no way it'll get there. That's it on the casing now, so I'll just get the lid on now. Yep, I had that on wrong, so it's sitting right now. I'll get the casing on there and the lid on the casing, should I say more accurately. Well, the good news is I got this back together and it's charging, so I'll see how it does when it's fully charged. So here's the battery fully charged and I'm just going to check the voltage. Get the voltmeter in shot here. Oh. And that's 12.18 volts, so that's fantastic. So that fix has worked. And it's burned the tool, so that's how you upgrade your 10.8 batteries. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.